Lizzie Le has the kind of school day many other nine-year-olds envy. More than half of it is spent in the gym. Lee was enrolled at this school six months ago, but has been practicing her body-bending feats for as long as she can remember. I started when I was five years old, sometimes practicing the whole day. I prefer acrobatics to gymnastics. They are closely related, but while gymnastics is more mainstream education, acrobatics is taught with work in mind. Acrobatic troops from across China recruit from schools like this one. Good acrobats can make about $2,000 a month, about the same as an office job. In this poor part of eastern China, young people have traditionally become acrobats out of necessity. It's led to the proliferation of acrobat schools. For the students, it's a punishing schedule that begins at 6 in the morning. Four hours of acrobatics, followed by three hours of regular classes, six days a week. Living and eating together, it is also a life spent away from their families, but considered worth it if it leads to work. Normal lessons outside the gym ensure children are educated as normally as possible. Not everyone gets to be an acrobat when they leave school. Even if they don't become acrobats, what they've learned here will help them greatly. It teaches them great self-discipline. Lee believes she has the discipline to become one of China's acrobats of tomorrow. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Wu Chao in Eastern China.